all right, my Halloween suggestion videos. These are the movies I think you should watch on Halloween. I mean, you watch any movie on Halloween. I mean, any horror movie on Halloween. Well, any movie too, but uh, these are just random DVDs I have. These are movies I, I think you should watch on Halloween because these are great movies. And there's going to be more of these. These are... I didn't pick a lot of DVDs. This is going to be kind of a short video. I'm not going to review them, like I said. If you watch my videos in the past, I always do these. Uh, well, I think I started last year or two years ago, the Halloween suggestion videos. I love to show you guys movies, movies, horror movies you should watch on Halloween. First one I have is The Lost Boys about Michael and his brother Sam and their mother uh, Lucy. They move. With their, to their grandpa's house in Santa, Co Santa Clara, California. And there's vampires, especially this one, David. Played by Keepin Sutherland. I want to say his name right. Yeah, Keeper Sutherland. He, he did a great job. This is a cool, cool vampire movie you should watch on Halloween. Directed by Joey Shimaka. May he rest in peace. These are the eight movie pack. You get Waxwork, Nine Seven Six Evil Two, Ghoulies Three, Ghoulies Go to College, Chud Two, But the Chud, But the Chud, Dum 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 Dum, But the Chud, The Unholy, Shopping Mall, Slaughter High, and Class of Nineteen Ninety Nine. And I think uh, I like Chud Two. Slaughter High and Chopping Mall the bat the best in class of nineteen ninety nine. Well class of nineteen ninety nine nineteen ninety nine was really a sci fi action film, but it had it had some horror in it. But th these are all great movies. I'm just saying the ones I do like the best. Which movie should I pick next? Uh the two uh sorry. The two uh Phantasm films about the tall man who's stealing dead bodies and making them into their uh, zombie alien was it alien zombie slaves I think they have that character Reggie that cool ice cream man who's always horny and you probably saw my uh, review of this uh, that's what I'm gonna say Phantasm and uh, Phantasm Two where the character of uh, what was the character's name. Mike, not uh, this, a different actor who plays Mike, and uh, he convinces his old friend Reggie to, to fight and kill the tall man who, uh, to stop doing this evil deeds. That's all I'm going to say. Phantasm, they're, they're cool horror flicks. What movie should I pick next? The People Under the Stairs. About this kid named Fool. Yeah, his his name was Fool, but his real name was uh, Point Dexter. They just call him Fool, like your little fool. Anyway, they him and uh, I know the actor's name. I just want to pronounce it right. Uh, Vit Rhymes, Vit Rhymes, no Vit Rhymes. He plays Leroy, and they uh, break into this couple's house. Their landlords, who are weird people named Mommy and Daddy, and they discover all this weird crap that. The house of the mommy and dad, daddy live at with their daughter. Not really their daughter. You just have to watch the movie to see to know what I'm talking about. But uh, the people on the stairs, directed by the uh, the late Wes Craven, may he rest in peace. Did a good job on that. And this one, it's really a dark comedy. It's got some horror in it. You probably, if you a little kid and you watch this for the first time, you might get scared. But uh. It's not really horror horror, but it's got some scary elements in it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. About uh, Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. They play uh, Adam and Barbara. and the, They get killed in a car crash, and they discover their ghosts, and these new uh, family moves in. And they try to hire a bio, bio exorcist to get rid of them, but the bio exorcist... Beetlejuice, he's kind of annoying or kind of crazy. Sort of, you know, he can he can piss you off and in a good way. You watch the movie; it's a cool, it's a cult classic. Tim Burton, he was a good, he did a good job on that. This one's a 
the cult classics, 12 movies, the Gore House, Gore House great, great, Gore House great hit, great hits, Gore House great, great collection, whatever. It's got Blood of Dracula's Castle, Blood Mania, Brain Twisters. Brain Twisters was kind of, I, just, I saw Brain Twisters not too long ago. It's, it does have horror in it, but it's kind of like a sci-fi thriller. I guess you can count that as horror. The Devil's Hand, The Mad Men of Mandarus, Nightmare and Wax, Prime Evil, Satan's Slave, Stanley, Terrified, Terror, and Trip with the Teacher. Trip with the Teacher is like that 70s biker thriller suspense film. You know, those movies in the 70s where they always, uh, those plots about those stalkers stalking those women like Last House on the Left. I don't have a Last, the Last House on the Left. I should get that movie. It's also directed by Wes Craven, but check it out. Maybe you can get this on Amazon used. I don't know if it's out of print. Sometimes when stuff goes out of print, they cost a, a, a shit lot of money. I mean, a lot of money, that's all I'm going to say. This one is the movie weekend, four feature films. 28 Days Later, Joyride, the remake of The Hills Have Eyes, and Wrong Turn. I like Joyride, uh, where, you know, Rusty Nail, uh, these two brothers, they play a joke on Rusty Nail on the CB radio, and, uh, they they don't they really, they don't know it yet, but he's a psychotic truck driver. He's fucking crazy. Wrong turn about that disformed guy that lives in the woods and kills people. The hills have eyes. I like the. Uh, I saw the original one. I saw the original one a long time ago, and I really got to see. I have to see that again. But the the remake I do like, and uh, Ted Levine, who is also in Joyride Ride as the voice of Rusty Nail, he plays Big Bob, the dad, in the, uh, the the remake of The Hills Have Eyes. 28 Days Later, about the guy that wakes up from a coma in a hospital, and he discovers this powerful virus. I really haven't seen 28 Days Later much, but I think every the whole world has turned into zombies. That's all I'm going to say. Check that movie out. And the last one I did... I didn't really see much. I wanted to do a review of this, but uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to do a review a re a review of it. I don't know. Maybe I would, but it's the new Halloween movie, Halloween 40 Years Later, that came out this year with Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. And I haven't really seen this film much. I guess it's okay, but I always will prefer the original Halloween better. Maybe I just love between movies of today and movies from back in the day. I always will prefer movies from back in the day. That's the type of guy I am. But some horror movies I do like in this generation. Anyway, that's it. That was part one of my Halloween suggestion videos. These are just random, random flicks I think you should watch on Halloween. And this is going to be part two and a part three of this. Anyway, part two will be coming soon. I hope you guys will have a great day. Stay tuned for part two.